a Brackington 19 romantic comedy snafu episode 1. And as a heads up, I'll be reacting to this episode, watching it from Crunchyroll's website, and I'll be starting my reaction to this in 1, 0, go. All around pumped up bow and dais. Ah, huh, quite an interesting perspective there. Hmm. I mean, I'd say... Oh my. I mean, I'd say... It has a lot of it has its own positives, though. I'm just saying. But... Gotta say, now that's quite a way of... Making the main protagonist pretty interesting from the get-go. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's pretty hardcore there. Oh, man. But hey, though, on the, here's one of the plus sides of, I mean, youth has its ups and downs. One of the upsides is if you make a mistake, you'll be able to lift yourself up and learn from the mistakes, you know? Going by the way the opening is just coloring certain characters while having everyone else in the background with the uniform color, I'm assuming aside from our main protagonist, the two females that were shown off are also going to be maybe potentially loners? It's going to be my guess. Gotta say though, I really really dig the art style. It looks pretty dang pretty, I gotta say. And the singer's voice is pretty dang good too, I gotta say. Alright. Going by the opening though, looks like it's gonna have some comedic vibes. Interesting symbolism there, so going from his distance from the others, I'm gonna assume that it's gonna take him a while to to get used to it, the very least adapting to other people. <laughs> oh, man, I really like this one. Uh, oh, damn. <laughs> oh. Should be one of his lessons. <laughs> Never touch the edge topic when someone is naturally gonna be in their 30s, 40s. Oh man! Hmm. Going behind the opening, everything, everyone's coloring a different color, and she was the only one colored up in the opening. And considering the distance we have with the two girls being on the right and our main character being on the left, I'm assuming there are conversations between her and him, and they ain't gonna go too well from this. Oh, from the get-go. That's gonna be my feeling of it. <clears throat> huh. Oh, okay, Hachimon, that's a cool, it's a cool name.
Hmm. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Think a teacher be saying all that? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I like how he says seriously he's not, but yet he's still. Again, there's a quick look. Ah! His, um, his body deceives his words when it comes. I can already feel the tension in the room. Oh, snap. Well, he was... When it comes to what happened, he was set up in a pretty curious situation. Oh. Uh, I mean, that's life. Sometimes, sometimes you try to shoot your shot and you don't succeed. The only thing you can do is just keep on living life, you know, and shoot your shot at other people. It's the only thing you can do. I like how, from the get-go, from the inner monologue, they immediately show us. Why he has now he sounds like a like an angry puppy. I like how they explain from the get go why he doesn't socialize with a lot of people though. Cause when you're younger, sometimes having experiences like that, it could completely change your mind, so it just depends on the individual, you know? You know, that guess wouldn't be far off. <laughs> Holy! Oh! Oh my! That's awfully sweet. Mm. <laughs> okay, but the way she's saying it, though. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely got a mixture of water and oil with these two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I can't completely repeat that. <sighs> Damn, what's up? Yo, talk about, talk about a way of figuratively filling yourself out to the max. Oh my. Hmm. 
I can see why they'd be trying to change it for the better, though, because once you're older, it's a lot harder to change someone in school. When the person's younger, it's a lot easier because a lot more support systems. So I could see the perspective of them wanting to change them, you know? I could see that. With fighting? Yeah, oh. I get... Mmm. Whoa. <laughs> I like how you just completely covers up her chest like that. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, man. Hmm. Oh. Huh. All right now, since he's the one that trying to change, he has no, doesn't have much room to complain. At least for now. from her when it comes to the stalker tag. It's not like he chose to be there. Hmm. That is actually an interesting question there. No, I could see where she, where, I could see. Oh. Huh. Oh. Okay, that's what's cool. This, okay, that explains why she's pretty hardcore personality, why she had to be. I like that though. From the get go, they're giving us insight as to why the characters act the way they are. From the get go, I actually really dig this because in series sometimes they introduce characters with less than savory traits, but they take fucking six, seven hours to explain why they're that way. I like how here though, they explain from the get go, already detailing Yukino and Hachiman from the get go. Hmm. That in itself is a pretty admirable trait. She's gonna probably say no. I have a feeling. I had a feeling. Especially since she just mentioned a few moments ago that when it became when it came to like things like friends, she never really made one. Everyone that always tried to be friends with her had other intentions. I could see why she would automatically reject Hanchiman's um And that's just to even be a simple friend, you know? Hmm. Huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, that glove is definitely. <laughs> This one too. Whoa. I mean, I wouldn't blame. S <laughs> huh. Holy. Yeah, but then it's all in some word ain't so nice either. I'm just saying. <laughs> hmm. I'm assuming she doesn't have friends. Oh, okay, so she does. Hmm. Oh, well, she said it's actually pretty cool there. Cold. I wouldn't even taste that. I'd be like, nice. Nah, this... <laughs> I like how she even dancing this off. <laughs> oh man. That's just turned away from the problem. It's not really. Tackling it head on at that point. By the way, I tried a different method. Like, um, trying to find a video on social media could also work too. Hmm. That's actually a good point. I mean, there are rare occasions where you do try hard and bad luck just completely screws you and fucks you over, but what she says in most of you. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I actually like that. She shows you the plot. And this other chick, too. Oh. I don't think she was being that hard, should you ask me? Hmm. Oh! Uh... I'll hot you. Oh, so they're average. Huh? Oh. So we're going for the placebo effect. Oh man, poor boy. He tried. He tried. Hmm. 
I mean, they tried their hardest, so they should hold up their head high, you know? Hmm. Hmm, got a point there. Yeah, it's actually a really, that's not so sad, huh? Whoa! Pretty hardcore though. I think it's a mix of... I understand Yukino's perspective because you need some success when you accomplish your goal. But I could see Hachiman's perspective too where it's like, well... Simultaneously, you gotta try your best. <laughs> and that's the best you can do at times. I could see both perspectives. Going by there, she's in the sweat. She's probably nervous at getting close to people. You know, that's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna assume. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, oh, that's also sweet. Ah, oh, Yukima is pretty cute too, personality-wise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you ain't like a champ! Woo! I like how I was saying still call me Iki. I, I have a feeling eventually he's gonna get used to that. He's gonna get used to that. That's gonna be what my gut instinct's telling me. My youth uh, rap the comedy is wrong as I expected. Okay, looks pretty. It is nice, I gotta say. It's the most visually fantastic ED I've ever seen in my life. No, but I think the song's pleasant and the visuals are nice. Gotta say. Definitely won't be in my top 50, 100 anime EDs I've seen in my life, because I've seen a fuckload of anime EDs and openings. But, but hey, I dig it. I dig it. Okay, so that song is Hello and Hello. Oh, she looks, see, I'm on six, extremely well drawn. Holy cow. Makes sense though, since it is an ED, and even our Chanchi moments, but I get Chanchi moments. I guess since, um, it's the, oh well, yeah, it makes sense, it's an ED and it's gonna be shown off in multiple episodes, you might as well make it look fantastically pretty. I know, my mind's like, how many is wrong as I expected? Interesting title though for the series. Whoa. I wonder what type of conflict your boy's gonna get himself involved in this time. Oh. I wonder if he's got Chuni syndrome. Okay, I'd say as far as anime starts go, that was pretty good. I'm gonna if I were to rate this episode of a scale of one to ten, with a one being abysmal, five being action, being etc. I thought this was a really, really solid eight out of ten care um episode. I thought it was good. Now, you know what, I'll bump it up to an 8.5 out of 10 because, um, just for the thing about it, did a lot of tough stuff. Had characters where normally a character like Yukino would be annoying as fuck in other animes. Because characters like her wouldn't really get a lot of self-exploration. 
under a lesser writer. Here, though, you see that the writing's pretty good because they do tell her. They give you just enough to be like, okay, that's understandable why she'd have that guard when it comes to Hunchy Man trying to talk to her and why she wouldn't even want to become his friend straight up. And it also shows, and it balances her out because it shows you she's pretty smart and keen, but at the same time, she's a bit too rough of how she dealt with Hunchman because Hunchman's trying to make, at least in that instant, the effort to become her friend, but at the same time, you see Hanchiman, he's pretty smart, fellow and all, but some will, and he can say some inspirational stuff, but at the same time, he kind of rubs off people the wrong way with the, some of the expressions he makes, how he carries himself, but he's a good dude. So I like how normally they would take something that's pretty rough to handle in animes and they make it into characters that are relatively likable, that are likable from the get-go. So already, I really dig it. I think the dialogue is good. I mean, shit, it made me laugh quite a bit, which is saying a lot because in anime is, if you ask me how easy is it for me to laugh, it's usually pretty darn tough. So I gotta give it credit for that. And aside from that, I thought the animation note was pretty dang good. Voice performances were great. And that's why I feel it was an 8.5 out of 10 caliber episode. I really dug it and I'm definitely gonna be reacting to the next episode. But anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment your thoughts on how you feel about my reaction in the comment section below. Rate the vid, share it, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. But anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching my video. And have a great, fun, and fantastic day, everyone. Bye-bye.